Well, hey there, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute Christmas coasters with infusible ink. This is a beginner friendly craft and it doesn't take long to make at all, and they also make great gifts. So, the supplies I'm using for this project is going to be infusible ink transfer sheets. I'm also using the uh, Cricut infusible ink blanks, the coaster blanks. They come in squares and in circles. I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy machine today, but you could use any of the other Cricut machines, the Maker models, the Explore models, any of those will work. I have my Easy Press here, which I'm going to use, and I also have some heat safe tape. I'm also going to be using a standard grip mat here to put my infusible ink transfer sheet on. They also make rolls um, for the Joy that you won't have to cut down from the larger rolls. I cut these down from the larger rolls, but they do make them in the Joy size where they just go straight on the mat. So you will see both of those options. You may also want a weeding tool. With infusible ink, I generally just use my fingers. I feel like it's a lot easier to work with that way um, because it's very different than working with vinyl, but you may want a weeding tool as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. These templates are available, links below this video for you, so you can check those out. And um, there's four designs, and you will find those below if you would like to use my designs, or you could just follow this tutorial with your own designs as well. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my design cut out here. So to get started, you'll want to access the coaster files. Of course, you could use your own and follow this tutorial, but I am giving away these coasters for free. It's one of our free designs right now in our member vault. So you'll want to go to members.abbykirstencollections.com. And if you don't see it at the top, because you're watching this video a little while after it's come out and more crafts have been added to the vault on top of it, then you'll just want to search coasters up at the top in the search bar and you'll be able to find it. It's also labeled as design number 434. And when you click on it, you'll be able to download the SV file right there and save it to your computer or device. Then we're going to head over to Cricut Design Space here to upload the SVG file. So you'll use that upload button on the left hand side and you'll click upload image and then browse your computer. You'll want to navigate to where you saved it on your device and then bring it in here. You'll see a preview of it. Click upload at the bottom and then select it under recent uploads and click add to canvas. Okay, so our files have been brought in here. Now, if you need to change the size at all, maybe you're using a different coaster blank than I am, then of course you'd want to ungroup them using that ungroup button and then scale them using that uh, arrow tool to scale up or down, or you could type in the dimension up here at the top. I have mine scaled to 3.3 inches here, which fits well on the Cricut Infusible Ink coasters. But if yours is different, then of course you could scale them and set them before going to um, the cut screen. So the next step is to click on that make it button. Make sure you have the right machine selected for what you're using, and then you'll be selecting infusible ink transfer sheets in order to cut these out. It's very important that when you arrive at the cut screen on the first screen, that you mirror your design. Anytime you're working with infusible ink or you are working with iron on vinyl, you have to mirror your design. So I'm gonna change my material size here so it's the longer mat and you want to click that toggle mirror option right there on the left hand side and it'll mirror everything. Now technically you don't need to mirror these designs because there is no words so they could ultimately go either direction and they would look just fine. However, it's good practice to always remember to mirror things and um, especially if you have words you will absolutely need to mirror. All right, so let's click continue and then we'll select infusible ink transfer sheet and cut our designs out. To get started I'm just going to load some infusible ink here onto my cutting mat and I've cut this is down from a larger roll. I'm just putting it on the mat so you'll be able to fit two or three um, of these designs onto one of these longer mats. When your machine is flashing, go ahead and push the mat against the rollers. It'll measure the mat. And when it's done measuring the mat, you'll see a go button on your screen to proceed with the cut. Okay, so my cut's done. I need to hit the unload button on my cut screen. And then you'll want to flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the material here. And you might want to trim off some of your uh, extra here. You can use these scraps for smaller pieces. Trim this down. Next, you want to do what's called cracking. So with infusible ink, ink, it can really help to kind of wiggle and sort of roll the material to get it to loosen before you start weeding it. Okay, and like I said at the beginning, you can use a weeding tool for this. I've actually found my fingers work better 
um, in many cases and I will actually just come in here and peel this right up and then go along the outer edges here this part to come up you want to remove all the little snowflake and stars All right, so I'm gonna get one of my coasters here and we're gonna go ahead and place this on. So you wanna flip it so that the infusible ink side is down on the coaster, of course. And it's usually easier to pick it up with two hands. You just wanna slide it until it's centered. Right in the center there. And then I use some of my heat safe tape to go around it and secure it. So make sure everything is centered and taped down really well. For our easy press setting for ceramics, it's 400 degrees, so it's a very high temperature, for 230 seconds. So if you need to set temperature, all you do is hold the uh, temperature icon and then you would increase it. And then you would hold the time icon and as it flashes, then you would increase it and you'll be good to go. Mine's already heated up. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down. And it's gonna take a few minutes, obviously, here. So we wanna put this in the center of our mat and then just place it straight down. You really don't have to hold it or anything. You can just let it sit and go ahead and hit that Cricut icon button and it will start counting down for you. All right, so our time is done. I'm gonna go ahead and lift my Easy Press up. Now, this is extremely hot. So I highly recommend setting it aside. Even if you are using heat gloves, like I have some heat gloves, I highly recommend not touching it for at least five minutes to let it cool down initially. And then if you have some heat gloves, you could potentially, you know, go ahead and peel the tape off. I'm gonna do a few more while this one cools. Once the item can be handled without you being burnt or you have a pair of heat gloves, you can start taking the tape off. Here's one of our coasters. Here's another one I did. You can do them with like the patterned or you know just straight up um, color. They have some different textures and patterns that are really fun and they look really Christmassy. So I've got a bunch of these designs finished here and they're still cooling a little bit which is why I have a heat glove on here. But they all turned out really pretty and it's a very simple craft that can be made last minute. Um, it can be made for your, yourself or as a gift. I think they make a great gift, especially something like a white elephant gift. Um, making this entire set took me less than 30 minutes. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I would love to know if you have any questions, let me know below. And you can get these files below in the video description. I'll see you there. Bye for now.